Howdy folks, got something in this week that uh, was sent in uh, from Venlab and it's a tool that uh, you can use for around the house but if you're getting into solar panels uh, in that kind of power situation or <laughs> wind generators, <laughs> good luck with that. If you're getting into that kind of thing or just like I say working around the house, this is something you might want to take a look at. Uh, it's something that you know you really need in the old toolbox as they say so we're going to have a look at it today. Yeah, let's do this, huh? Yes. I've unboxed it, I put the batteries in the back, I've connected my probes, the red probe is on the uh, voltage or sensor, the common probe of course being the black wire. Try to do that whenever you do a new meter like this uh, because it is the correct way to do that, yeah. Anyway, it's a multimeter, it is it has all the functions of a good multimeter and at the same time it also has this clamp which I really like. Now, the very first function is NCV. That is a field function for, uh, you can put this up on this side, up against wire, and if it has electricity in it, AC, uh, it will sense it and pick it up and it'll give you a beep and just show you that there's a, you know, a field there of electric uh, current and voltage running through. So it's kind of a nice little, that's a nice little feature right there before we get into the rest of it. Now the next selection would be the 60 amp. 60 amp, you would use that with the clamp system. So you'd clamp over the wire and then read the current in uh, DC or, I believe, yeah, DC or AC. You have to use the function button on here in order to get that. But either way, uh, you can have function AC or DC on the 60 amp, on the 1000 amp, AC or DC. And also, uh, these are scales, of course. And you also have 750 volts AC, or if you go to a DC, you can go up to a thousand uh, to measure a DC uh, voltage. And again, you use the function button to get to what you need. And they've got the function button in blue. So some of these different things here are marked a little bit with blue so they can show you have you know options or whatever. If you put the wrong setting on, at least the worst thing you probably will get is a zero reading, which is, which is false. So you have to really, you should be aware of what you're gonna do, but it is a multimeter. And I think it's a terrific one. Beautiful digital output. We're gonna have a nice uh, link with a hopefully a nice discount for this thing. But really, it's one of those meters that's, that has more features than you know, what most of us do-it-yourself type folks are probably gonna ever need, but this has it, you know, and that's, that's really good because you can also measure uh, the diode. You can also measure uh, open circuit or continuity. And you can also measure resistance. So it's like an ohm meter, it's a voltmeter, it's an amp meter. It's a sensor for, you know, uh, we, they call this uh, induction plate, I believe is the correct term for it. But this is really just sensing electricity off the front here or for an AC well wave that's in a, uh, a cable. We also have true RMS, which can be measured. And also it comes with a set, let's see if I can find here. This is what we really call in the industry a, a thermocoupling. You can plug this into the meter, put your thermal coupling on something and measure the actual heat. Uh, not something most of us would get into, but I'm sure that sooner or later, you know, maybe something shows up and you need a thermal coupling to check something. I wouldn't check the barbecue, it's a little too hot and you'll burn everything up, I think. But, but you know, you can set, sense heat if you're checking something. Maybe like a CPU running on a computer, you just want to check to see how much heat's coming out of there or something like that. You could, again, you could put thermal coupling in there and, and measure heat. Now, I'm gonna do the uh, DC test, I guess, here. I'm gonna to have to get you guys closer up somehow so you can see this really well. Okay, so the first uh, test I'm gonna do is I wanna do the DC test here with uh, DC voltage. So I'm gonna select uh, 750 but then I'm gonna check the meter, and the meter right now shows AC, so I wanna hit the function button, and now it shows it's gonna be measuring DC. It has a little straight line thing. And of course, it's jumping all over the place right now. But that's all right. I don't know why it's jumping so much. I think we're measuring DC. And this is positive, and this is negative. This is a uh, <coughs> Ryobi battery, so let's see what we got. We should, should be around 18 volts or whatever. Okay, 19.46 volts. Yeah, it's a little overcharged, whatever, but that's expected with a lithium battery. You really don't know what you're going to get now. Uh, just for giggles, let's set it back to AC. Now, I'll just show you what happens. With AC, you're going to get nothing, zero, because 
it cancels out. It, AC is not DC, obviously. So, uh, next thing I want to show you though is uh, going to be let's uh, set her back to this one here. This is an interesting one because most meters don't come with this sort of thing. So, this is kind of a nice feature. I'm going to put this up against an electrical cable and we're going to hear a beep. So, I've got a, an extension cord here. There's no load on the cord. But we do know for a fact that there's electricity here in this cord. So we're going to put this up against here, and you're going to hear it. And you see what that is? That's reading the, the wave coming through, the AC that's in this cord that's available for work. It's picking it up here. So it shows you that there's electricity in this cable. And it, it's kind of, uh, there we go. In fact, if you want to really get technical, you can actually sort of pick it up, yeah, you know, right dead center of the uh, probe. We can really pick it up. So I just wanted to show you that before we move on. This is a dirty old cable, but, you know, it'll be effective for this demonstration, I guess. What I'm going to do is do what they call continuity. So I'm going to turn the meter on, and I'm going to go down here to the selection. And what I'm looking for here is, uh, I think we're on, I'm not sure what we're on here. Okay, so we're going to go to function. Uh, I'm reading it upside down. That's resistance. Let's go to continuity test. Uh, okay, we did that wrong. Let's. Is that fun? No. Try that. Ah, there it is. And there it is. Oh, it's got this little sound wave up here in the corner. And see, that's our, our continuity. So, say I had a cable that I plug into a machine or something, and then I don't seem to be getting the electricity or the machine's not working for whatever reason. I can actually check the plug end to end like I'm doing here. Okay, obviously that's going right through. And if we check the other side, we should have that one. Plus we'll check the center one up top here and that should be the ground. And there it is, yeah. That's continuity. Uh, continuity is just this simple. It's just checking uh, through a wire from end to end to the probes. And that's what you're getting right there. But you can also check resistance and uh, or ohms as we call it. and also we can do a, uh, <clears throat> a diode test uh, i'm going to come back up to let's do the next one which would be the uh, let's do the 60 amp system for a load test per se and again we can hit our function button but see there's really uh we can function and check either ac 60 amp or we can hit the function button and oh, okay there's the ac now this is going to blow a few brain cells on a few of us, so here, just, just hang on. Now, say I had this cord plugged in the wall and I clamped it this way. I'm really not going to get any kind of current reading because the neutral, the common, everything is in here. It's, one is going to cancel the other, so there's no way to measure that field and see how much workload is going through there. So, yeah, uh, it's all part of the electricity. Now, how to get around that? Well, what you do is, so you, I, <laughs> I made this... Now, back when I made this, we only had, uh, you know, those little needle type, uh, we we'll call them uh, ambient, you know, meter probes and things. And they were really hard to read when you had small stuff. So I've got a outlet here, a plug here, and you could put this in between your load. Now, I've wired this with 10 loops of wire from one to the other. And then the other wire that comes off here is straight through and so is the ground. So the only thing is the uh, hot in this case goes around 10 times in a loop and then goes back. And what that does, it gives me 10 times whatever's actually going through there. So I have to use a, a multiplier or a divide. In other words, if I've got five amps, the meter's gonna show me 50. But you know, this is one way to uh, get into appliances or whatever and you could plug one end into the other and run it through this and then you could put your clamp probe through and actually me you know accurately measure the AC of amps going through this cable to show how much that appliance is pulling for power and in fact uh, just for fun let's hook this up and uh, I'll just show you what you're gonna see so what I've got is I've got the my extension cord is plugged in. I've got this plugged in. I'm going to plug a, a power thing in. In this case, uh, something kind of heavy like a heat gun. And this heat gun is rated for 1,200 watts. Wow! So it should pull near nearly 10 amps. So if I plug this in, and I'm going to put my meter on here, of course. And let's see, we're going to go to. That'll be 100 amps showing because of the 10 to 1. So we'll go to 1,000 amps, and we want to measure AC, which it is. It's set for AC. 
And then I'm going to pull this on. Let's see if we can get her going. And it should be about 100 amps. <laughs> yeah. Pretty darn close enough for uh, what we need to know, right? Okay, so there's just a demonstration. The actual, you know, from what you actually saw was about 9 something, 9.9 .9 amps or whatever going through. But it's kind of a something I made when I was a kid, when I was apprenticing as an electrician. But it allowed me to measure using a clamp meter anything I needed. So you might want to make something like this up for yourself, uh, especially with solar power. That's a whole nother gamut. But again, with solar power, it's DC, so you can get in there with these clamps and measure just one side, one cable, and you'll be able to read, you know, how much current draw is going through the system, which is cool. Like I said, this is a, a good do-it-yourself meter for a lot of different, all, all the different functions. I'll shut that off. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to show you is there's a flashlight in here and also RMS. RMS is the, uh, I guess you could say the real value out of a, um, a sine wave and it's, it's more of a tech thing for a lot of tech people. So I'm not going to, because it's kind of a do-it-yourself show, <laughs> I don't want to get into that because, you know, a lot of people are going to get lost on RMS, but uh, it is significant. It is important to certain uh, functions, certain people, amplifiers and signals and whatever. But we'll just sort of skip on that a little bit. But uh, if I want to measure, say, uh, 60 amps, I can also push the hold button here and it will, there we go, it lights up here and also has a flashlight here at the front. See if you guys can see that a little bit. And also, like, there's a flashlight there. So that'll help you to, if you're working in the dark, <laughs> that sometimes happens with electricity. <laughs> the flashlight will be quite a handy little item. And uh, to shut it off, uh, I just shut the whole thing off. I'm not sure at that point. I, the instructions are great. They talk about continuity and various testings and, you know, the safe way to use the meter. But I didn't find anything in there about the flashlight, so... I'm just telling you so you know how to find it. <laughs> there is a, I guess we'll call it the universal, looks like a, well, what did they call it? Not the hashtag, the other one on the phone, but uh, it looks like a little uh, star thing there. That's, I guess it's the light beside the hold button, so that's where that function is. And we'll just talk a little bit quick about uh, up and coming. They sent me two, so uh, next week we'll probably do this one. Yeah, and also I've got more here from them, so we'll do something else uh, another day. Uh, right now, I want to call this quits because, you know, I don't like to run on to more than like 15 minutes at a time per show, whatever. And I thought the uh, this is a really nice keeper meter, and that was one of the reasons I was hoping, and they did. They, they gave me two of them so that I could keep one because, yeah, this is something I don't have anymore. The uh, last one I had was an old amp probe that cost ridiculous money and had like a couple of features. That was it. You know, it, it could not measure, it could not do anywhere near what this thing here can do. Uh, also in the uh, probe for uh, temperature, they showed it in like a cup of hot water or something for measuring. And again, you know, like a thermocoupling situation. I would be more probably in line to measure electronics for heat or something like that, but a thermocoupling is a is just something, it's a feature that the meter has. So it's a full function sort of multimeter, but it also has this, which to me is great for like, I was thinking the other day about the solar panels that I'm messing with right now, and it would be nice to be able to put that on there and actually read load once I uh, finish constructing the uh, solar system that I'm working on right now. I'm also working on a little printer, a little mini printer farm right now, and uh, Probably be sharing that pretty soon too. Yeah, you know, we're, we're into a lot of things here. Uh, my garage is always evolving and there's always projects and things going on. We just don't get a chance to film everything all the time. And I'm sorry about that. I wish I could also. Uh, thanks for all the comments. And if you have any comments about this, comment below. Or I hope, God knows, I hope you don't have a question because I could drive you crazy. Oh yes, uh, I was an electrician for many years, also worked as an electrical engineer, also did programmable control systems when I was young. I was very early on in the edge of technology for automation for the industry. And uh, later on, I uh, went into management and other jobs, seven years in a machine shop. So yeah, I, I saw a good round gamut of a lot of things. Also wood shop for well and built wooden sailboats for a hobby uh, for a little for a while there too. 
and uh, somehow we'll sort of try to get in some of that craziness uh, down the road, I guess, or whatever. But I always love my tools, my garage, and just love getting to, you know, do-it-yourself projects. That's why I liked uh, so much of this stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching Coffee and Doodles this week. And please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. Thursday we have a draw. Don't miss it. In the meantime, I'm out of here and over and out.